and I'm going to end up putting, I could just leave it, you know, with two coats on here and be done with it. But I have a feeling it's just going to be that much better if I put on a few more coats, build it up a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. I'm just almost out. That was pretty darn close, wasn't it? Look at that. There it is. And am I going to throw away the rest of it? Heck no. I'm not going to throw that away. I'm going to see. You know, I think I think there's a little bit there that I can get out of that pan. And then I can use it uh, tomorrow, you know, with my with my two-inch brush around the around the edges again and such. It's not going to be it's not going to be a whole lot, but you know, it'll be some. And now here's here's the other here's the other thing too. With this roller cover, if I take my putty knife and wipe it on here, look at all that extra I get off of there. Wow, get all kinds. That's how, like when I'm painting and stuff, Usually on my roller cover, I'll do that. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff right there. Instead of thinking, oh, just go and wash that out. Nothing you know, doing. Wow. I've got enough to go around and add a coat all the way around with just this, you know, around the, the, the edges, like I did before with my paintbrush. There. Quite, quite a bit out of there. I'll just, I'll just put this on my plastic, on my plastic bag. that I can take it in and wash it. I can almost, if I would have left a little bit extra uh, coating on there, roof coating, I could have just left it in the plastic bag and not, not, not rinse it off tonight. Could have. Look at all this extra I have now. Good Lord. I'll just put it in like this. If this was paint, I would tilt my tray up. By the time I tilt my tray up, I'll be done. See, you thought I didn't have any left. This could be just the amount I need. Or something. Get in the habit of trying to save as much of your excess paint, like if you're painting walls or something, or you're doing the roofing, 
material like this, you'd be surprised. That little bit was all you needed to finish. And you, instead, you went to the store and you got another gallon because you needed only a little bit. Eh. Still got, still got excess in here that I got to clean out. And then this tray, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to rinse it out or anything. It'll dry like that, and I can pour stuff in it tomorrow, just like that. And then one of these days, when I'm done. I'll see if I can't just peel this all out in one go. Sometimes I can do that with paint. If I've cleaned out a paint tray 9 or 10 times, 15 times, and if it's semi-gloss, eggshell, satin, something like that, as long as it's not flat paint. Because flat paint's not going to rip out of there, right? But uh, all the other stuff will. So if I have semi-gloss first and then put use flat paint another time it'll still rip out of this container and I've done that I've done that a few times and then I'll just use my my throw away paint tray for a while longer okay no need for me to have to waste water or have to have to uh, rinse this stuff down the drain or something. Just leave it like that. Okay. Got that much left for tomorrow to go around the edges. I don't have to have to tap that on all the way. I mean I got it on plenty because I'm gonna use the rest of that tomorrow. Now if I was if I was storing this if I was storing that for six months or longer before I put the lid on I take a piece of plastic and I would push the plastic down tight to whatever's in here paint mastic what it, well not mastic mastic shouldn't dry this this could possibly dry. Uh, chances are this stuff probably would not dry. So I probably wouldn't have to put a piece of plastic in here. But if this was regular paint, if I'm going to store it for who knows how long, I'd put, I'd put some plastic in there and just put it down to the top and then push the rest of the plastic in there and then put the lid on. Because if you only have this much of paint left in your paint can you've got all this air in here and eventually this paint is going to dry or it's going to start separating cracking rusting who knows what and if you put the plastic down here you're preventing that air from getting on it and it's just like putting a paintbrush a paintbrush or a paint roller in plastic wrapped in plastic it won't dry out will it and it will last longer I've done that before and uh, it works pretty good. You just have to make sure don't get your paint can. I've seen some guys, you know, they'll take a paint can and they'll try to shake it back and forth and twist it upside down and all that. Just remember you got a piece of plastic in there and you really don't want to do all that. Then you have to pull the plastic out with, with all that stuff in there and it doesn't work out very well. Okay? All right. I'm gonna let that let that dry. It's gonna dry. It'll dry. You know the sun's gonna set here in a little bit, but it's not gonna get completely dark and it's not gonna get completely too cold for another hour and a half, two hours. By that time, this will skin up a little bit. Nobody's gonna be walking on it. No one's coming up here. It's not supposed to rain or anything, and it should tack up enough to dry before tomorrow. 
Now see, I actually got all kinds of this left and all of this. I, I, I don't know when I'll ever use this again, but I'll save it. That was Repair Fabric, Henry Elasto Tape Repair Fabric, 4 inch by 150 feet. Worked out really good. And then this was my sheetrock self-adhesive webbing tape. And like I say, you don't have to put that down. I, I just ended up deciding to put that down. And I think it's, I don't know if it's gonna, gonna help or not, but I did it. If this was gonna be a huge thing, you know, 300 feet of wall or something I had to use. I had to use this stuff quite a bit. I don't know if I would have used this as much or I might have gotten that other uh, roofing tape it, and it's yellow and it's about, it's either four inch wide like this or six inch and usually it's yellow and then you know how much stuff to put over it to cover it up. But anyways, that worked out really good. My scissors worked out good. I'll have to clean those off before I before I take them back in there to mow me. But they'll they'll clean off. See I I didn't I didn't do too bad with that. So just a few tools, that's all it took. You know, I didn't really spend that much that much time and that much money on this. That was that was like twenty six bucks. This tape, I forget how much that tape was, eight or nine dollars. And the roller, you know, the paint roller. Of course, I, I would, I would have used, I would have gotten one of those anyways for my painting and stuff. So that didn't really cost me anything. The paint tray didn't cost me anything. All, all the little bits and pieces, you know, I, I've got, I can use for different things. So I really, I really didn't have to buy too many things at the store in order to do what I showed you today. Okay. All right, well, it's time to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I hope you learned something today. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.